Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to we want to improve our math skill. Today we'll have our sixth lesson in the series of fifteen. In the series of fifteen on the topic of absolute value inequalities. And today is our lesson number one hundred and twenty-one. Here's the problem. We are told that the absolute value of a plus 3, absolute value of a plus 3 has to be greater than 7. Tell you what, before we worry about greater than 7, let's ask ourselves, what are we dealing with if it has to be equal to 7? So here is our number line. Here is 0, here is positive 7, and here is negative 7. That's quite straightforward, which means that the absolute value of a plus 3 will it be equal to 7. Absolute value of a plus 3 will be equal to 7 when either a plus 3 is equal to negative 7 or a plus 3 is equal to positive 7 because absolute value of negative 7 is equal to 7 and absolute value of 7 is equal to 7 of course we can't leave it like this we have to solve for a we're not interested we're not interested in locating the value of a plus 3 because a plus 3 we, as we just said a plus 3 is got to be either negative 7 or positive 7 but we're not interested in locating the value of a plus 3 we want to find out what a is equal to. So let's solve for a. Subtract 3 from both sides. And positive 3 is going to kill the negative 3. And a would have to be either equal to negative 10. Or subtract 3 from here. And we get 3 is going to cancel out. And a is equal to positive 7 and a negative 3. We get a, we get a positive 4. Either a would have to be negative 10 or positive 4. As we can clearly see from here. When a is equal to negative 10, negative 10 plus a 3, negative 10 plus a 3 is going to be negative 7, and the absolute value of negative 7 is equal to 7. And when a is equal to 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, and the absolute value of 7 is equal to 7. So the absolute value of negative 7, of course, is equal to 7, or absolute value of 7 is going to be equal to 7. That was very easy, very straightforward, very silly thing to do, because it's, it's, it's too straightforward. Question is, what happens if we have something like this? What happens? If we have something like this, if we are told that the absolute value of a plus 3 has to be more than 7. Here is our number line one more time. Here is our number line one more time. And we have to ask ourselves, why would that be true? Well, absolute value of a plus 3 is going to be more than 7 if a plus 3, this is where you have to pay attention, greater than negative 7 or less than negative 7? If a plus 3 is less than negative 7. Why? Because, see here, on the number line, what we're showing here are possible values, possible, not possible, but possible, possible, possible values of this quantity, a plus 3. We're showing the possible value of a plus 3. A plus 3, in order for the absolute value to be more than 7, listen very carefully, in order for the absolute value to be more than 7, a plus 3 has to be less than negative 7. Let's say, for example, a plus 3 happens to be, let's say a plus 3 happens to be negative 9. If a plus 3 happens to be negative 9, then the absolute value of a plus 3 would be absolute value of negative 9, which is 9, and which is more than 7. You see? Absolute value has to be more than 7. Absolute value of a plus 7 cannot be greater than negative 7. It has to be less than 7. In other words, it's going to lie in this region right here to the left of to the left of negative 7. And here's the dot. We have to put a dot like this and we put an open circle there. Open circle because it's not an equal to sign. If we had an equal to sign we would have closed this circle. It's not equal to sign so we have to leave the circle open. Where else, where else would the absolute value of a plus 3 be more than 7? But that's in the positive territory. That's very easy to see that a plus 3 is going to be more than 7 when it lies to the right of positive 7. That's it. That's your solution. That's our solution. And again, of course, we have to solve it here. These are the possible values of A. We cannot just stop here. We have to show the value of A, not the A plus 3. So let's solve it. So, so this is going to be absolute value of A plus 3 is going to be more than 7 if A plus 3 is either less than negative 7 or as you can see here, or a plus 3 is more than positive 7. Let's move this thing down here so that it, it, it lines up properly. In this system right here, a plus 3 
is either less than negative 7, which is this region right here, or a plus 3 is more than 7. Now we solve for a, just like before, we're going to get the same answer. Subtract 3 from both sides, and a has to be less than negative 7, negative 10. Subtract 3 from both sides, or a has to be more than positive 4. And if you like, not if you like, we have to do it, otherwise we can't stop there at that. That was the intermediate step. That just shows the possible value of the quantity that we see in the absolute sign, not the A itself. Here we are going to show the allowable values of A. A has to be either less than negative 10. So here is our 0. Here is our say negative 5. Here is our negative 10. Absolute value has to be less than negative 10, which means it's right here. Again, open circle. Or it has to be more than 4. So let's put a 4 here somewhere. Again, there you go. These are the allowable values. These are the allowable values of A. And that's all there is. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.